Whenever I'm using power tools in my workshop, I can't hear the doorbell ring. So I modified a wireless doorbell so that it turns on a light instead of just playing a tone. Here's how to make one. Start by finding a wireless doorbell that plugs into an AC outlet. Then open up the housing and take a look at the circuit board. Immediately next to the AC plug will be an AC to DC converter. This will typically have a square bridge rectifier made of four diodes that converts the AC sine wave into a series of DC pulses. Then, a capacitor smooths out the pulses into a more constant DC signal that can power the circuit. We need to identify the positive and negative lines of the power supply. The easiest way to do this is to check the orientation of the capacitor. The side labeled with a negative sign is connected to the negative line of the power supply, and the other side is positive. Now, find the place where the speaker connects to the circuit board. The positive terminal of the speaker will typically be connected to the positive supply voltage, and the negative terminal will be connected to a transistor which connects to ground. The first step in modifying the doorbell is to cut the speaker wires in the middle. Then, solder an extension wire onto each of the cut ends. Next, solder one more wire onto the board at the negative terminal of the power supply. Drill holes in the housing of the doorbell for each of the five wires. Then, feed the wires through the holes and close up the housing. Now, take the wire from the board that's connected to the output transistor and solder two more wires onto that. Solder a pair of sliding switches onto these two wires. Connect one of these switches to the negative speaker wire. This will let you turn the doorbell tone on and off. On the other switch, solder one more jumper wire. This will let you connect to the control circuit for the light. The control circuit is a 555 timer in monostable mode. When the input at pin 2 receives a low signal from the doorbell, it turns on the light for a period of time set by the resistor and the capacitor. The positive and negative terminals of the control circuit are connected to the positive and negative wires from the doorbell's power supply. First, I prototyped the circuit on a breadboard. Once everything was working properly, I soldered the parts onto a printed circuit board. To turn the light on and off, I'm using a solid state relay. This functions a lot like a regular relay, but it requires a lot less power to operate. The positive input of the relay is connected to the output of the control circuit. The negative input terminal is connected to ground. To connect power to the whole system, I'm using an extension cord that I cut into several sections. Start by cutting the cord 6 inches from the female end. Then cut another section that's about 1 foot long. Separate the two wires of this section and cut one of them in half. Strip the insulation off all the cut ends. Now, take one of the wires from the male end of the power cord, one of the wires from the female end of the power cord, and one of the short separated wires, and connect these three with a twist-on connector cap. Then, take the other wire from the male end, the other wire from the female end, and the long separated wire, and connect these with a twist-on connector cap. Next, take the two short separated wires and crimp on a pair of quick disconnects. Then, fit these onto the output terminals of the relay. Lastly, take the two remaining wires from the power cord assembly and attach them to the screws of a light socket. Now we need to prepare the housing. Cut one slot in the bottom of the housing for the power cord, and cut two slots in the side of the housing for the switches. Now all that's left is to mount the parts to the inside of the housing. First, I attach the light socket in the center of the housing. Then, I used hot glue to mount the rest of the components as far away from the light as possible. Now your light doorbell is complete. You can use the switches to turn the tone and the light on and off whenever you want. The light can help when it's hard to hear the tone, or when you have the tone turned off because someone is sleeping. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.